naughtiest member of the Teddy the Shetland team, Teddy's little brother Albert or Albie. And I thought I'd just do a video on how I've been training him because I have had a lot of questions and requests. He's four, um, he's just turned four. So he's just started doing some work. Um, and actually training a Shetland <laughs> isn't very different to training a big horse. Um, because although Shetlands like Albie have, as you can see, 200 times more sass, actually the principles such as lunging um, and long reining and um, doing trotting poles and introducing them to jumps and introducing them to pulling a cart, which I'll be doing um, because Teddy pulls a cart. So I thought it would be a great form of exercise for them to be able to pull one in tandem. Um, it's exactly the same with a little feisty Shetland as it is to um, when you're training an event horse. So I don't know if um, you guys know, but I'm actually an event rider um, in my spare time as a hobby. So I'm an amateur event rider and I have evented up to advance on my tiny little 14-3 horse. So I know a fair bit about training big horses and I am applying the same principles to training these two. Um, it's worked very well with Teddy. As you can see, Albie is in the very early stages of his training. We've been training him um, by doing some lunging and that sort of thing, even though you can't tell from his little buck explosion a minute ago, for a couple of weeks now. So he's at the lunging and um, going over poles phase. And actually he's really good. He's um, much more responsive than Teddy. Um, in terms of being forward going. Teddy's just very chilled and um, that's what makes him amazing at being a therapy pony and doing all of his um, photo shoots and stuff. Albie has a bit of extra sass, as you can see. So, um, but I think that's gonna make him, if we can channel that sass into the right direction, I think that's gonna make him a really good um, riding pony for my little boy. Um, alongside Teddy and also just um, it would be great to give him some exercise because Shetlands as you guys all know have very round tummies so they need to do something um, just quickly before we start to go through the tack so he has we got lots of questions about this saddle this is a little it's called a Bardet saddle it's by Voltaire Design um, so he's got that um, he as you can see the lunge line isn't actually clipped onto the bit um, I don't like to put any pressure on his mouth because he's just still learning about the bit and it's much more soft to do it that way and the bridle is actually a handmade bridle for Teddy so it's a little bit big for Albie but it's made by Elevator Equestrian so yeah that's his tack he's not got any boots on hasn't advanced to needing boots yet but if I can get the camera set up because I think I'm going to need two hands for this little monkey I will show you what we've been doing. So the first step is sorting out all of your knitting, making sure there's no knots in the lunge line, which I'm doing here, and then making sure your hand isn't wrapped around the lunge line in any way. You can see Albie's being very cheeky. I think the big horses were playing in the field and he took it upon himself to be very naughty and show me up. And more proof if you needed it that Albie really is Teddy's naughty little brother. Um, you can see the lunge line gets a bit slack when he does that, which ideally it should be taught to avoid um, him treading on it. But he's also trying to pull his, himself in slightly, so he's making life a little bit tricky. And I'm just trying to encourage him to go out a bit wider in the circle um, so he doesn't get dizzy and I don't get dizzy. Um, first and foremost and he is still pulling some very good stunts really showing off his break dancing skills he wanted to canter here so i just sort of let him canter because um he clearly needed to get rid of some beans when i lunch him i try to do plenty of transitions and you can just see here that when i ask for canter he goes on the wrong leg um, and he did this a couple of times. So I, with any young horse, would then get a pole out and use the pole to ask for the transition um, to encourage him to pick up the right lead in canter. 
because you want to obviously teach them the right thing from the start and he's only learning still so it's really important we get the foundations right you can see he's going on the right lead now and um, so it definitely did the trick and big pats it's always really good to praise them when they've done a good job and I always do the same amount of lunging on both sides and um, so that it's symmetrical and they work both reins an equal amount so I'm just swapping over the lunge line to the other side and um, again I'm only clipping it onto the nose band so it's nice and gentle you can see he straight away wanted to go into canter on this rein um, my whip I'm holding in a sort of V shape with the lunge line and I'm actually barely well, I'm not using it at all. I'm just using it. Um, I, I never touch him with the whip, but I'm just using it as a sort of guide behind him. So he sort of knows um, to move forward in that direction. You can see he got this rain really quickly. And so you got lots of pats and we finished and on to the next thing. Good boy, well done. Cut to cute, crazy spaniel rolling in the arena. What are you doing, Rusty? What are you doing? I'm gonna show everyone how you can jump. Come then, let's go. Let's go play. He loves the arena. I don't know what it is about sand. Makes him go mental. Rusty, come on, on, hop up. Come on, Rusty, hop up, hop up, hop, hop. Yes, good boy, hop, good boy. Rusty, go on, hop. Very good because I've got no hands to do this. I've got Albert in one hand. So I'm literally just telling him to jump, but he does do agility, so he's sort of trained. Rusty, go! Hop. Yay! He's gonna stand. So now, um, after warming Albie up, I am going to just um, give him a pop over some trotting poles, which is exactly what I would do on the lunge with a big horse, apart from obviously the spacing on these is much, much shorter. So this is two of my um, size four, quite small actually um size four feet um as a pigeon step so that's when you have one foot there and you go like that and put it right up to the heel up to the toe so it's basically the distance is that and i'm hoping that will be his trot stride but it could go wrong so we will see we'll be the trailblazer for mini shetland trotting poles so here we go so this is actually the first time he's ever done trotting poles and you can see the first time he really didn't get it. He didn't get what pace he should go in. I'm trying to slow him down to trot, but he just wanted to canter because he thought it was a jump and he found it all very exciting. I've included the good and the bad and you can see he does it not so well again twice. And then the third time he comes round and he actually seems to realise that he needs to trot over it and um, pick his feet up and just stay in trot. So he was very good. I was very pleased with that. And he did it well a couple of times, so then I swapped reins so that everything was even. He's not so good on this rein for some reason, but he's trying really hard. So now we're going to just attempt a jump. Um, so I'm going to take the poles out. He's had a nice warm up. I'm going to do a little cross pole to start. Um, and you'll notice that the brown wing is a short wing, and that's so the lunge line can fit over the top of it. Otherwise, if you have tall wings like the other ones, it's a little bit dangerous. So, yeah, always have a, brow, a, a small short wing on the inside. And I'm going to just put this here as a guide rail just so that he knows where to go it's um, not something he's done before. I don't want there to be any confusion. I want him to want to, to sort of understand exactly what I'm asking of him. Um, so the aim with a cross pole is obviously to jump it in the middle. Um, so that's what we're aiming for. I don't think I'm going to do much more, but I just want to see what he'll think.
think of an upright. So I'm gonna do it once, maybe twice. If he jumps it well, only once. Um, I'm hoping he's gonna ping it because that was very impressive. Um, so you always want the ground rail slightly out. I'm gonna make it 65 centimeters. wanted to give you a little glimpse, Albert's still winning to Teddy, um, of what we did before we started lunging um, Albie when we were training him. Um, so as I said, we've got this cart, it can fit two ponies, two mini Shetlands um, to pull it, so perfect because we've obviously got Teddy and Albie. And, um, but you don't just hitch a pony up to a cart, you have to break them in just like you do for riding. And in order to do that, you need to get them used to being um, handled from behind. So when you're, um, when you're driving, you're obviously directing them left and right by sitting behind them. Um, so long reining is actually a really good way to get a horse used to being controlled um, with a, both a bridle from a rider and also, um, also f when you're driving um, because you're sitting obviously on a horse's back when you're riding so you are steering them from their back and you are um, steering them from behind and um, from a carriage or cart when you're driving so we've been long reining Albie um, to get him used to it and this is something I do with my event horses as well so you can either um, use the driving equipment like I am with Albie it's a little bit big but because um, it's Teddy's but we haven't got him his own harness yet or you can use a saddle and you can thread two lunge lines, one through each of the stirrups. So it's like the um, leg aids when you give your hands a wiggle. Um, if the reins are through the stirrups, that's like someone giving a horse a little squeeze with their leg. Um, I'm using the driving equipment for this. and I'm just gonna show you really quickly how I've got Albie started um, long reining around the arena. Good boy, well gone. Boy. Now he's a bit wiggly at the moment because he thinks he's still lunging but the idea is to um, get them really used to going left, right and also in a straight line. When you're long reining a horse or a pony you want to be a safe enough distance behind, you want to be a safe enough distance behind them that if they bucked or kicked you wouldn't get hurt. So Abby's obviously got quite short legs so I don't need to be that far behind him. I then put my phone down because it's obviously so much easier to steer and um, get them to do what you want them to do with two hands. I was finding it a bit difficult multitasking, trying to film and also steer. So you can see he's going much better now, much less wiggly when I've actually got two hands and I'm focus focusing on steering him rather than multitasking. And down. Once they've mastered the long reining, it's time for the next step to make them a driving pony and that is i don't know if you've seen my previous video on um training teddy to drive but that is stop making my face that is to put be able to pull a tire behind them so they just need to get used to a bit of weight um behind them so that when the cart is attached it's not a massive shock so albie's actually never done this before he um will be doing it for the first time on this video so i don't know um, how he is going to find it but obviously we'll do it very slowly very calmly and if he shows any sign of not enjoying it or understanding it then we will stop so Rusty Rusty making his um, debut performance and appearance um, so yeah I will show you how that goes I have got a tyre which I'll pan my oh I can't pan the camera I've got a tyre here um, we've got his harness attached um, and we're ready to go, so I will set up the camera and we'll see how he, how he finds it. Rusty, is Albie's nose very lickable today? Not sure Albie loves you doing that, but he's a very good boy. So it's probably just worth saying that the tyre is attached to his driving harness as a cart would be. Um, you purely use the bit and the connection with his mouth to steer 
um, and you would never obviously attach any sort of weight to their mouth so you can see that his his shoulders are basically pulling the weight of the tire along a very good way to power the arena too so a double bonus hey guys um he coached with that very well he wasn't really phased in the slightest are you so that's really good news for potentially in the future um hitching him up to ted's cart and having some karting adventures like literally going to be the cutest duo can you imagine two really similarly looking fluffy ponies um belting along in their cart um, I have all sorts of plans. I think we're going to go to the beach and do lots of fun adventures. So watch this space. Um, hopefully next time I do a video with Albie in it, he might actually be pulling a cart. Um, we'll obviously start with him pulling it by himself um, and then get used to him pulling it with another pony because Teddy's also not done it in a tandem before. But all very exciting stuff and he's a very good boy. Well done. Well done. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching guys and stay tuned for part two because next time, as I said, hopefully we will be actually pulling a cart. Don't you, Alps? Good boy. See you soon.